Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon again. God bless you. I pray that you are enjoying the videos. I pray that you understand that it's all love. We as a church has to get back to the oracles of God through healing and deliverance. Come on, somebody. That's what's wrong with the church. That's why we don't have any power as a unit. Well, come on, somebody, because people are not truly being healed or delivered. And then when they do they go right back into the same atmosphere. They go right back into the same thing. And God is saying, come on now, you got to understand it's time for us to go to the next level. It's time for you to mature. They have people that have been in church 30, 40, 50 years and you so much into your ways into you, 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 you don't understand why you're not anointed and you're looking at another person. The only difference is they obeyed, you didn't. Come on somebody, hallelujah to his name. So this is um, about Hollywood how they send things through the television how they send things through the music and even gospel music is tainted now come on somebody hallelujah I touched based on that a little bit um, even the television the movies the music they know that this is the medium and guess what they're after our youth because they know you know um, this is how they get us to well my I didn't have when I was a child so I want my child to heaven so you are adult, God's going to get you because you're allowing your kids to dictate what they listen to, what they wear, because even the clothes, the, come on somebody, everything is being tainted because this is Satan's world. Come on somebody, God is the God of all universe, but this is his world and he wants to be worshipped. Come on somebody, and, and that is a form of to where, that's why Hollywood, you know, um, and I'm just going to say this, it is the same thing when he took Jesus on that pinnacle and he says, if you fall down and worship me, you can have everything. That's the same thing that people are doing in Hollywood. Everybody want to be a star now. So I'm going to get um, straight back into this. I was telling you yesterday, last night actually, that Lucifer was the heaven. He was the um, music director. Um, his body, he was the anointed chair, and his body was actually made of mu music. You know, he had certain instruments even in his music. Come, I mean, his body. Come on, somebody. So since his fall... He still used the power of music to divert worship from the true God to himself. That's what he's doing. You see, he desires to be worshipped. And one of the most powerful expressions of worship is to music. And music, sometimes, sometimes it can be very corrective. Now, we're going to get into this very deep. Again, this is not preaching. This is teaching. All right. So, we're going to talk about rock music. And some people are going to get upset, but God bless you get saved anyway rock music undoubtedly is one of the greatest challenges to the believer and the church today it is so-called rock music church history that has shown that has been various crisis over music in the church rock music both secular and religious actually took its place in the world about the years of 1960 to 65 it has been on the since increase now you have to understand a careful and prayerful consideration of rock music should be done by any believer who personally desires a high standard of music in the church rock is one of satan's master weapons to corrupt the gospel of the lord jesus christ the devil's motto has always been if you cannot beat them join them if you cannot destroy them corrupt them music is just one of the avenues through which satan can do this to the church oh come on somebody christian rock always varies its range it is known under such titles as gospel rock jesus rock or christian rock because of the vastness of such an area of music we content ourselves with some of the most important facts associated with rock music be it secular or so-called christian oh come on somebody rock music is associated with evil descriptions come on somebody and he's talking about referred to as love rock or acid rock rock music is a vital ingredient in their whole way of life in its idea form, rock music fast and almost too loud for the normal ear to withstand. It blinks the mind, stuns the senses, and forcibly reaches out and commands all the nerves, fibers, and vascular of the body to the extent that you find yourself leaping and twitching. Did you know that rock music do that? To the contagious drum, drums, rhythm, and unconsciousness abandon. Oh, come on, somebody. The essentials of rocks are drums, lead rhythm, and bass guitar, sometimes a bass section and jarring beats. The very essence of rock and its beat is ryth rhythmic, rhythmic, pounding beat, where the person can differentiate between melody, harmony, and rhythm. And that's what we're going to talk about uh, in this segment. Rock music is associated with heathen origin. 
Heathen Africa has its centuries been noted for its witch doctor activities. Come on, somebody. Along with the tribal dances amidst jungle music beat, the wild, insistent beat of drums, the gyrations and censors, twisting of the body, and the economic sexual acrities were only the forerunner of the modern rock festivals of the Western world. Come on, somebody. Did you know Barbara Lawson in the day music died? He says, tells a missionary who tested rock type of music out in an uncivilized region of Africa. Good classical types of music produce pleasurable attitudes. Rock music stirred up cannibalistic tendencies. Do you understand what I'm saying? They started eating flesh. Oh, come on, somebody. I know, I know, I know, but we're we going deep with this stuff. Rock music is also associated with drugs, immorality. Rock music is associated with evil spirits. Spirits work with music. The Holy Spirit works the wholesome music. Evil spirits work with corrupt music. I'm going to say that again. The Holy Spirit works with wholesome music. Evil spirits work with corrupt music. The reason why I'm dissecting all this stuff is because that's what's happening. From the homosexuality to the drugs to the lust. It's all about music, what you're watching, what you're hearing, what you're seeing on television. It is shaping you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. I, I know this is some stuff, but you're going to learn today. Rock music is associated with Hindu, Hindu meditation. Rock music helps to tune in the Western mind to the Eastern mind. Oh, come on, somebody. Rock music is associated with lyrics exalting sin, idolatry, witchcraft have to do with demon worship, hatred, variance, immolations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, or sins of the soul, mind, and body. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going to keep on going. Now, the power of music, believe it or not, it is a ministry either for good or evil over mankind. The power of music, it affects your whole body. Doctors found that good music in hospital has a positive effect. That's why you hear those, da, 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 da. okay, nervous tension or ease. Come on, somebody. It says that music is known to soothe violently insane persons, even in some cases of elep epilepsy. Come on, somebody. So, the negative effects of music is hypnotic, tribe inducing to stir the mind, emotions, and body to war, lust, or engage, and again in cannibalistic orgies. Can you? Are you listening to this? So, when this music first started, even in Egyptian's time. They started lusting and then they started eating people. Y'all understand what's going on here? Abnormal reactions and unnatural behavior are the result of evil music. Certain types of jazz, or more especially rock music, have brought about demoralizing results in recent generations. Oh, come on, somebody. It's inflamed by this kind of music kind have of brought about a moral breakdown in society. Thus, music carries its own power. It can be soothing or revealing, invigorating or demoralizing. It can be used for evil and good purposes. Come on, somebody. Music is vitally connected to its power and to the emotions. Okay, is an expression of human emotions. Channel for this is rhythmic, physical movement, and vocal sound. All emotions either include pleasure or pain. The infant expresses joy by clapping or beating hands. Most people express impatience by tapping their feet. So, sorrow may be expressed by people bending over in pain or groaning. Anger or temper often expresses itself. Music is actually intertwined with this. All human emotions seek a vocal or physical expression. It says that the physical expression or emotion is the foundation of of rhythm that's why and i'm going to break this thing down all the way down melody the melody is the creative part of the music therefore it should be the strongest melody appeals to the spiritual or to the spirit of a man the first basic test and primary evaluation of music is whether it's good melody or not the scripture speaks of melody in these references isaiah 23 16 take in heart and make sweet melody all right now you have to understand the melody it makes the music if the melody does not have the proper rise and fall of the effects of the imbalance too much tension brings the effect of 
frustration, lack of fulfillment, or creates passion. Now, this is where the sexual music come in. Too much fall creates depression and despair. Rise and fall in melody music is significant. Come on, somebody. Uh, we go on deep. It says it goes through the valleys and the plains. And what it does, it, 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 it rise the tension. Harmony. Now, what is harmony? Harmony is the chords. And what it does is, it so adds to harmony. What it does is progression of chords. And it, it wants agreeable sounds, the pleasing of a combination. Now, harmony appeals to the psychological or to the mind and the soul as melody appeals to the spirit of a man. So when they make this music, they understand what they're doing. Now, do y'all understand? Some of you came against me talking about Beyonce. Do you understand what she's doing and her husband in this music and everybody else that, that is in Luciferian? Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all are not ready for me. But I'm a the breakdown. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going to learn. We're going to all learn together. And also... Did you know, so, did you know there are 24 keys, 12 major, 12 minor. All music is conveyed to us through 24 keys. When an is made of sin shall return to full harmony, discords will disappear because God's kingdom will be filled with melody, harmony, and rhythm after God's eternal order. Now, the third part of music is rhythm. It appeals to the physical, the body. Again, this part should be dominated by the melody. Melody naturally produces rhythm, but rhythm should always be subservient to both melody and harmony. So what am I saying? They know how to arouse you. You ever listen to something and notice how you feel when you listen to pure gospel music, you feel like praising God. Hallelujah. When you listen to tainted gospel music, you feel like dancing. When you listen to sexual music, you feel like Praise the Lord. Hallelujah on that one. Come on, somebody. So everything is worship. Everything is worship. Don't you understand? And you're thinking, let's say you're not in church and you're driving home, right? And you put something in and you think you're just going home. Everything you do is a form of worship, people. Either good or bad. Come on, somebody. Evil or good. Everything you do is a form of worship. That's why the devil came into the church and he started distorting the music. You see, God never took his gifts away from him. So what he has done is distorted the music. Even gospel music. Come on, somebody. There are some dances that I, I, I really like the music. And God said, I don't want you to play that. And, and I listened to it. There's an unholy sound. Well, come on, somebody. And I want you to really do this test. Everything that you start listening to, I want you to test yourselves. Think about how you're starting to feel. When you when you listen to something good, you you know, that's holy, you should feel, okay, I should feel the presence of God. If you start listening to something tainted, you start thinking a little weird. Come on, somebody. You listen to something sensual, you start thinking about, hmm, <laughs> Tay Tay and Shay Shay. Let's be real. Body of Christ. This is not a game. We got to come back to the oracles of God. That's why so many people are not being healed and delivered because you think it's a game. You cannot do what you want to do. Come on, somebody. Because either God is pulling your strings or either the devil is pulling your strings. But you listen, what you hear, what you do, what you say. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everything is a form of worship. And so the elite, the powers to be of this world, this is what they want to do. They want to take God's people and taint them. Take Jesus Christ out. Why do you think the body of Christ have so much stuff in it now when you go to church? We used to, I don't I don't know how old you guys are, and I don't mind saying my age, I always do. I'm 48 years old, and I remember when I was going to church as a little girl, even a young lady, I could feel the presence of God. Oh my God, you could feel it. If you had something, you'd be like, I got to throw this away. Or are you just, if you wasn't, you know, I always just um, covered myself. Now, the reason why you don't feel the presence of God is because there's so much pollution into the sanctuary of God. And God in this last hour is saying, I need you to get your house in order. I need you to get my church in order. I need you to get yourself in order. That's what this is all about. So what we're doing is we're going to the root of everything. The root of homosexuality, the root of lust, the root of adultery, the root of lies. Oh, come on, somebody, because everything starts and begins. And we're going to just keep on going. Just keep on going. And I'm going to keep putting a little bit of information out every day. Every day until the Lord tells me not to. But uh, God wants us to be delivered. He wants us to be whole and set free. That's why some of you, you say, I don't know why I do the things I do. Think about what you're doing throughout the day. What you're listening to. Who you're listening to. 
A lot of you, the reason why you have such an angry spirit, you're listening to people angry. Stop, stop, stop with all that gossiping and, 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 and you know what? Let's pray about them instead of talking about them. Praise God, praise God. We got to go back, you guys. So I was talking about worshiping. Worship. Okay, so let's talk about that. Do you know the word worship? Honor, revere, adore, pay homage, red devotion, respect. So that means in whatever thing you do or say, it's a worship. So I'm going to leave you with something. Who are you really worshiping? You say you love God. What I? It's your obedience. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I'm going to keep on putting information out there for you to understand who you are and who you belong to. In Jesus' name. And I want to pray for you right now. Father God, we just pray for everyone that's in the sound of my voice. God, whatever that they need to be dealing with. And I need to say something to you. You'll always be doing and dealing, even leaders. Don't let people think that they're so perfect. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. We're all not. But you will be doing ministry and still dealing. It's okay, God says, as long as you understand what you're dealing with. Because if you don't deal with it, it's going to deal with you. So, Father God, I just pray, Father God, for everybody out there within the sound of my voice, whatever they're dealing with, Father God. I ask you, Father God, that they come to you in truth, Father God, in spirit and truth, Father God, and that you deliver and heal them, Father God, of anything that is not of you, Father God. Give them the strength, Father God. Let them, Father God, not be found guilty, Father God, in the name of Jesus, when that day and that time and that hour comes, Father God. Oh, we come against every guilty feeling, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God is not for forgotten about you. God has not forsaken you. Oh, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and anything that tries to torment you, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I sever that spirit to the root of that thing. God will not torment you. God will send help. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, give him peace. The peace that surpasses all understanding, Father God. Oh, hallelujah. Let the power of God illuminate through this video like never before, Father God. Let the fire of God, the power of God in the name of Jesus. Oh, I decree and declare it to be so in Jesus' name. Loose your children. Loose them, Lord. Loose them. Snatch them back, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God, snatch them back. From the enemy. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive it. Possibly, I think so.